Interpower Corporation, the premier supplier for power system components with one week manufacturing lead time and over 4 million parts in stock. Visit www.interpower.com for more information. Today on Engineering Newswire, we're redesigning the Martin Jetpack, sending MIT students to space, tailoring toothbrushes for your teeth, and riding in one great big balloon. A group of MIT students recently designed a proof-of-concept model for a vehicle that can imitate gravity. Naturally, it's difficult to test imitation gravity when you're in actual gravity, so the team looked to NASA's Reduced Gravity Education Flight Program. The intent on this design is to promote longer durations of space visits for astronauts, as extended periods in microgravity have been found to have negative effects on the human body, like bone loss and muscle deterioration. Through the program, the team from MIT was able to hitch a ride on a parabolic flight, which gives passengers the opportunity to experience zero G. Now, MIT students cruising in weightlessness might not be as entertaining as Penn Jillette and Billy Gibbons doing so, but these young engineers took full advantage of their time on the Vomit Comet. The team's experiment operates on the models of the conservation of angular momentum. On one end of the model, the flywheels operate on a motor. The other end houses the habitat. As the flywheels spin in one direction, they will theoretically cause the entire craft to spin in the opposite direction, causing outward acceleration in the habitat. You know, for artificial gravity. And this can have some negative effects on the body. You get uh, bone loss and muscle deterioration. Last month, Barcelona-based Zero to Infinity took another decisive step towards space tourism and the development of its high-performance stratospheric balloon systems when it launched Microbloon 3.0. Manufactured by Thin Red Line Aerospace, the inflatable pod took off in ideal conditions in Cordoba and spent three hours and 10 minutes in the sky, ultimately landing on target about 37 miles north of the airport. Microbloon spent 53 minutes at a designated float altitude 88,000 feet high to test the behavior, strength, and suitability of its inflatable, pressurized payload capsule, better known as the pod. Zero to Infinity was kind enough to shoot a little video during their efforts. The music, uh, I must say, was quite inspirational. The pod behaved as expected during the flight and confirmed the inflatable structure's superior performance and resistance. The pod was actually based on Thin Red Line's proprietary ultra-high performance vessel architecture, developed largely for NASA's space exploration program. Next year, Zero to Infinity plans to launch its first manned test program with commercial operations to kick off soon thereafter. So majestic. New Zealand-based Martin Aircraft Company has recently redesigned the Martin Jetpack, changing the position of the ducts to help improve the jetpack's performance and maneuverability. The P-12 is the 12th prototype and it is fully certified for manned flights as Class 1 Micro Light. Currently, the Martin Aircraft team is developing the engine to extend the time between overhaul, or TBO, focusing on the bottom end of the engine and improving the crankshaft design. This includes going to a single piece crank. The P-12 contains a number of safety features, which include an internal roll cage, fan blades with FOS or factors of safety 5 at the hub and 10 at the blade, and a ballistic parachute system that enables the pilot to be saved from a catastrophic failure down to a reasonably low altitude. The Martin Aircraft Company is targeting a sales price of $100,000 for the recreational version with strong demand in commercial markets that include civil defense, military, and recreational. It was only a matter of time before the guys with the most frightening tools started using FDM technology. Dentists. Engineers at Blizzident have created a toothbrush that is tailor-made with 3D technologies to fit into a person's mouth. By using a 3D scan to create the brush, the Blizzident bristles are aligned at a 45 degree angle to the surface of your teeth and your gum line. There are even interdental bristles to clean the gunk out from between your teeth. 
The company claims that this custom-made system can brush, floss, and even clean your tongue in just six seconds. All you have to do is bite and grind and the system does the rest. By scanning your mouth, Blizzident determines the best placement for 600 bristles. They then 3D print the brush system using stereolithography. Do you have story ideas? Comment below and we'll cover them in the next episode. For the PDND channel, I'm Chris Fox, and this has been your Engineering Newswire.